Hello friends, it's Pastor Joe. Today is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and I have your word for the day. So I got a question for you. Did you eat a lot yesterday? Uh, is your belly still full? I would wager that most of you watching this video had a great time with family, friends, and enjoyed an abundance of food at your Thanksgiving table yesterday. But I want you to imagine something with me. Imagine that yesterday, instead of piling your plate with turkey and ham and mashed potatoes and gravy, sweet potatoes, casseroles, pumpkin pie, imagine you only could have two small teaspoonfuls of food for your Thanksgiving dinner. Would you consider that person who prepared your meal very generous? What if I told you that the person that prepared the two small teaspoons uh, gave you the very last bit of food that they had and they wanted you to have it because they were giving and because they were generous? In today's passage of scripture in Mark 12, Jesus observed a lot of people dropping a lot of money in the offering boxes at the temple. And he also noticed another person only dropping in a couple of coins. And Jesus said about her, she gave more than all the rest. Why? Well, let's read to find out. Mark chapter 12, beginning in verse 41. Jesus sat down near the collection box in the temple and watched as the crowds dropped in their money. Many rich people put in large amounts. Then a poor widow came and dropped in two small coins. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I tell you the truth, this poor widow has given more than all the others who were making contributions, for they gave a tiny part out of their surplus, but she, as poor as she is, has given everything she had to live on. I love the fact that God does not measure the significance of our financial gifts by the largest dollar sign. He measures the significance of our financial gifts by how much we sacrifice. When we have an opportunity to give, we should think about this poor widow's example. Do we give even when it hurts? Do you bless others even if it comes at a sacrifice to you personally? Do I? So let's agree together to give until it hurts the next time we have an opportunity to do so. And I would venture to think you still have family, maybe in your house, that you're visiting. You have an opportunity to give generously of your time, of your love, of your attention, to maybe a family member that's been a little bit like Cousin Eddie this week. I want you to have a blessed and amazing Thanksgiving weekend and enjoy your time giving to family and friends. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, leave a comment, and happy Thanksgiving.